Opportunities vary a large telescope located in the Atacama Desert in Chile captures the first detailed image of the star in another galaxy. This star is called it is the WO G64 and is located at a distance of 160,000 light years from us, in the Great Magellanic Cloud. WO G64 is a red super -gri. It is in the big the Magellanic Cloud, the largest galaxy adjacent to the Milky Way. The star this has been known for a long time. It is so big that astronomers call it a monster or behemoth and its radius is almost 2,000 times the radius the Sun. It was its size that made astronomers take it as a target for making a portrait. Red supergitalas are the biggest stars we know, albeit this is actually one of the last stages of the life of some stars. When in the cores of stars with masses of 10 to 40 solar masses will end in hydrogen fuel. These stars go into helium fusion, which is associated with a significant increase the size. They become unstable and swell, then shed their outer layers of gas and dust in a process that can last for thousands of years. Then thereafter they explode as supernovae. The star WO G64 is just such a red superb for the end stage of life and is the goal of observing astronomers from the moment of its discoveries in the 1970s. However, its distance of 160,000 light years, making it difficult to study thoroughly. But four 8 meter mirrors the very large telescope, VLT, when they work together combining light and interferometry technique, together with the gravity instrument, which it was designed to observe very small, very weak objects, they allowed to obtain a detailed picture of the star. The observations were conducted in December 2020. However, the researchers had to deal with the purification and processing of data, before they made their work public. Although the image may look dim, level the detail that astronomers have achieved is unique. Results and description of the observations appeared in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics. New observations reveal star blowing gas and dust into the last stages of your life. For the first time we have done an enlarged image of a dying star in a galaxy outside the Milky Way, he says Kiyachi Onika astrophysicist from Universidad Andres Bello in Chile, lead author the publication. We discovered an egg cocoon that's closely surrounding the star. We are excited because it may be related to the expulsion of matter a dying star before the supernova exploded, he adds. So far, astronomers have made enlarged images a bit more than 20 stars in our galaxy, revealing some of their features. The WO G64 is the first star outside the Milky Way to have a similar portrait. Researchers comparing previous WO G64 imaging they saw that the star had become darker in the last decade. And we found that the star has experienced significant change over the past 10 years. What gave us a rare opportunity to see the life of a star in real time, he says. Gerd Weigel from the Max Planck Institute for Radio Astronomy in Bonn, Germany CEO author of the study. This star is one of the most extreme in his genus, and any change can bring it closer to the explosive end adds Jaco van Loon, director of the Kiel Observatory in the UK, who is watching WO G64 since the 1990s. Astronomers think it's just rejected matter from the stars or a cocoon observed and it is responsible for its consolation, because the gas and dust that ejects the WO G64 blocks some of its light. A new photo it shows that this cocoon is stretched, which surprised scientists who they expected a different shape based on previous observations and models computer computer. The team believes that the ovate shape of the cocoon can explain the influence of an undiscovered companion star. Scientists have retracted the mummy Amenhotep I. In an unusual the way. 
All royal mummies found in the 19th and 20th centuries they were opened long ago. With one exception. Egyptologists never dared the mummy of Pharaoh Amenhotep I is opened. Not because of some mythical curse, but because it is perfectly wrapped, beautifully decorated, and the face and the neck is covered with exquisite, realistic mask with colorful stones. Egyptian researchers have decided to learn the secrets of Amenhotep and thanks to the latest technology, they used three-dimensional tomography computer to digitally distract this royal mummy and explore it the content. Lomia Amenadiba opened for the first time in 3 Itzimaline. The previous time it took place in the 11th century BC, more than four centuries after the original mummification and burial. Hieroglave describe how years later priests restored and buried the royal mummies more from ancient times to repair the damage caused by the robbers of graves. The results of the study were presented in the journal Frontiers in the Medicine. The fact that Amenhotep's mummy I was never opened in modern times gave us a special opportunity. We could have examined not only how originally, it looked mummification, but also how the mummy was treated during an ancient restaurant and a re-emphatasi says the main author of the study, Professor Sehar Salim, radiologist from the Faculty of Medicine at Cairo University. Thanks to digital technologies, we were able to package the mummy and know its next layers, including a face mask, used bandages and themselves the remains. We could have examined this well-preserved pharaoh in detail, any detached situation, Salim said. We found out that at the time of Amenhotep I'd die about 35 years. He was tall about 169 centimeters tall, was circumcised and had teeth in good it's gonna stand. In the bandages, 30 amulets and a unique gold belt with beads were found. It seems that Amenhotep I physically resembled his father, he had narrow the chin, a small nose, curly hair, and gently protruding upper teeth describes Professor Prof. It's a Salim. We found no wounds or disfigurations caused a disease that could indicate the cause of death. We have discovered many for this damage that has been caused after death. They were probably created in result of the actions of grave robbers. Pharaoh's interior was removed by the first mummifiers who left behind the brain and heart, a researcher. The mummy was discovered in 1881, among others again buried royal mummies, at the archaeological site Deir el-Bahari in the southern Egypt. The name Amenhotep means Amun is pleased. Amenhotep I it was the second pharaoh from Egypt from the 18th dynasty. Governments have taken over from his father, Amos, and which drove out the invaders of the Hyksos, and united Egypt. His reign continued from about 1525 to 1504 BC. It was a kind of golden age, the state was a finis and safe. Numerous construction works and successful war expeditions were carried out to Libya and northern Sudan. After his death, Amenhotep I and his mother Amos Neferteri were worshipped as gods. Professor Salim and Egyptologist Dr. Zahi Hadwa speculated previously, that the main intention of the restorateurs from the 11th century BC was again use of the royal tomb equipment for the later pharaohs. However, however, now the researchers have refuted their own theory. We show that at least in the case of Amenhotep I, priests from the 21st dynasty with care repaired the damage inflicted by robbers and they restored the mummy to its former glory, preserving the wonderful jewelry and amulets in its place, says Professor Itza Salim. Hatwas and Salim studied over 40 royal mummy from New State period as part of a project implemented since 2005. 20 of the 22 royal mummies, including Amenhotep I, were moved in April 2021 year to the new Cairo Museum. 
Our work proves that imaging with a tomograph, it can be beneficial in anthropological and archaeological studies mummies from different cultures and civilizations concludes Salim and Hadwas.